Picked up in behind by Cleaver. He'll wheel over to the right side. Dumps it down to Sedal in the corner. Cleaver took a big hit there, but he dished the pass off already. Eric has it now at the left point. He tries to let a shot go. Bates gets in the way of that one. Puck goes down the left wing corner. Sedal goes to get in. He takes an elbow up and into the face, and he goes down. He's slow to get up. Checks for some blood. But it looks like Aaron Powell is going to sit down for the next two. Turek and Wilson on the back end. Price going to take the draw for Vegas for the King's control. Goethe has it in the faceoff dot. He'll cut down in behind the net. That's up there. Goethe is being watched by Switzer and Switzer able to reflect the puck, but Goethe quickly on it. He'll play it to the left side to make Murchie high spot to Wilson. Back to the left side to make Murchie into the spot for Vigo on the side. To Turek over to Goethe. He couldn't pull the trigger as Fallon was able to scramble over to the side and take away it's up the right side to sit on. He'll go to the left point to Cleaver. Cleaver dumps it deep, but Dykes aren't able to come away with it, although he's able to get on to McMonagall, and then he gets hauled down, and that's going to be a penalty, so the Kings are going to realize a two-man advantage here, but only for a couple. Kings control off the draw. Atherton has it right point. He's going to the left side to Wilson, back to Atherton, a little two-man game. They're going to crisscross. Wilson on the right side now fires a shot high, riser up and over off the glass, picked up by McMurphy. First penalty over, and out jumps Power, and he'll head straight to the bench and bring out another penalty killer. Dingle across there on the left side to McMurphy. He's had good speed all night for the Kings, and he'll drop it off to Dingle. He takes it down into the corner. He kicks it over to McMurphy. He'll move up the left wing side. Feeds it to the right point to Wilson. Quick touch pass to Ellington. He fires a low shot save, rebound, and able to corral it in with Fallon after it jumped off his pad. It bounces off a of price, goes into the corner. Digging away, three kings jump in. Henniger is able to pull it out. He goes to Atherton at the right point. He goes over the top of the left circle to Dyke. High slot to Atherton. He fakes the shot. Goes over to the right half wall for Henniger. Into the slot for Sadal. Feeds it over. Slips through everybody's stick. Kind of picks it up in the corner. He uses it to Sadal. He's cutting through the slot. Feeds it out in front, but it goes off and escapes. King's able to keep it in. Henniger does a good job to corral that puck. He gives it over to Dyke. He tries to walk down with the shot go, but it bounces right off of Riley's stick. Down low now, come back up to the left point to Atherton. Good puck control here by the Kings. 35 seconds remaining in the power play. As Cleaver has it over on the right half wall, he'll move up to the point. Now he dumps it down low into the corner. Gets it there for Sadal. He rims it around to Geis in the left wing corner. Geis will walk over to the face off that right point for Henniger. Goes back over to the left wall. Goes cross ice to Henniger. He's the back over to Geis. Two-man game. His shot. That goes off a of body and goes over to the right side. Henniger on it there. Henniger moves into the slot. He'll let a shot go right past save. And then knocked up and out of the zone to the Kings show. Great patience and great. He's going to go chase him. So is McLeod. Power has it. He finds up to hit him McLeod. Kirk keeps it in at the right point. Gives it to McLeod. Up front to Asplund. He can't pull the trigger. As Ross did a nice job of tying him up. And the Kings really starting to put some pressure on here in the second. Off the face off. Vegas is able to pick up the puck, and it's Collins. He goes to Bernhardt. Bernhardt's going to dump it down the left side. Goes into the corner. Turk and Collins go down low for it. Turk's able to get it. He plays it up. McLeod can't get it out, and Collins is able to pick it up. He walks out. Let's a shot go. Still able to save it. Turk scrambling back into the play. Bumps into his own goaltender and knocks the post off. It's mooring. That'll bring about a whistle and a little pushing it on the right side. He gets it to Brodeur. Brodeur into the zone. He stops. Loses the puck and Sadal's there to take it away. Now Sadal has a 2-on-1 with Cleaver. Makes it a 5-on-1 now. Sadal drops the puck. Shot scores! Heath Vandermeer collects his first as a Salmon King. That Sadal kind of has a laugh because he didn't actually drop the puck, folks. He kind of just overstated it. But the Kings all jumped into the rush, and there was Pete Vandermeer, and he'll take advantage of getting his first goal as the Salmon Kings. He just wires one. I'm going to have to ask it all about that. Did he mean to do that or not? He seemed to have a little bit of a smile on his face. So the Kings jump out again to their second one-goal lead of the night. And here comes Martin to center. He'll give it to McLeod. He pushes it down. Picking it up is Ross, but he's immediately met. By Asplund, loose puck, they scrum for him behind the net. Asplund comes away with it, he gets jammed up, but he gives it to McLeod. McLeod feeds it back to the right point to Turk. He fires a shot, that bounces off, a Geich goes wide, picked up on the left side by Martin. In behind now to Geich, Geich sets up. He looks to come out the left side, but tipped away from him. He hustles over to the left corner, picks it up in behind Asplund. Asplund will move into the corner, he gets jammed up by Bernhardt. 
as Bruner pins him against the wall. The puck comes up the right half wall and away comes Lutasevich. He has it on the left side. Tries a little dipsy doodle, but Turkle has slapped that away. He's an ass one, and ass one in with Henniger. Two on two. Henniger over ass one, drops it back to Geich. Geich moves to the back end, moves to the left wing circle. Spins around, throws the center and back. Nobody there except for White Church and away come the Wranglers. Pass into the slot. Unable to get the shot on net was Bernhardt, but in behind his base. He'll play it on the left side for Bernhardt. He goes back up to the half remaining in period number two. Things dumped the puck down the ice. It was tipped, so no icing on the play. Vegas will pick it up, and they look to move it out, but Henniger able to steal the puck right at the blue line. He battles for it, but two Wranglers eventually able to move it out into the neutral zone, and they come down the left wing side into the King's end. Riley gives it up to Collins. He squeezes it over, but unable to get good wood on it as tidy as that puck was bouncing. It goes over onto the right half wall. On it as Riley is down, and we're back on the way. Ballon will play it over on the right side. Geich keeps it in, but it's taken away from him by Riley. And Riley will play it up the left-hand side, and he sends Collins away. Collins comes down into the zone, stops inside the zone, and takes a hit from McLeod. But they're going to get McLeod as he kind of threw the knee out a little bit there. Collins is down. He's yet to pop out. Looks like they may call it a trip. Collins out slowly gets out there. McLeod definitely got the right leg out of Gill. Didn't step Henniger. He goes in against Huddy. Comes back to Switzer. He tries to let a shot go, but the team's able to knock that down. And Henniger quick on the puck, and he'll fire it down the edge. And out comes Kyle McLeod, and the Kings are back to five on five hockey. As the pace of it comes into the zone, Nifty moves, feeds it out in front, but Wilson knocks away. Now a shot high up, Chase. Rebound comes over to Bates. As Huddy with a beautiful pass in the slot to base, but he couldn't find the empty to Riley, and he'll tip it in. Gill stops in the other end, he'll drop it off to Vandermeer. Vandermeer over to Atherton. Atherton skates out of his own zone, he'll play it up to Geich. It bounces down into the zone, gets smacked right back out. Geich had it on a stick, but only for a heartbeat is Bernhard able to take it off. As the Wranglers look to go on the attack, here's a pass up to Bernhardt. He comes into his own side, steps to Vandermeer head. And he saw him just as they'll get on a change, but right back the other way comes the Santa King. Henniger has it. He's it over on the left side. Wilson tries to play it across, bounces down into the right wing corner. Angel chases after it. He picks it up, tries to drop it down to Wilson. Here he hustles in the corner, picks it up, puts it in behind the net. Angel now has it. He'll give it to Henniger. Henniger in the left wing corner. He moves his way up the wall. Now he reverses course, goes back in behind the net. Drops the puck off, gets it to paint, so he's on the backhand, tried to find Geist with it. Now he lets the backhand go, shot, save, made. And held up. Vandermeer, the D-man back. Kirkham comes in, feeds it across with a pass in behind McMonagall. So Vegas unable to take advantage of that two-on-one opportunity. Puck's still down in the King's zone, but Atherton has it, and he's just going to chip it up the hill and gives it to Geist. Geist will come down the right side. Nice move to get in. Drops it over to McLeod. He loses it in his skates as the pass was just a little bit behind him. And he couldn't adjust and make that pass. He goes back to the point to Swiffer. Right side to Power. He'll move it all the way over to the half wall to Huddy. He moves up to the point. Over to Power. Shot. Save. Huge rebound on that right pad save by Gill. And Dingle picks it up. And he comes down with 2 on one big Murphy. Dingle lets the shot go. Save made. Has fallen plate shot the whole way and was able to make the save on Dingle and into the zone comes Lucasovic. He wires a wrister. That just goes wide. Pass over to Power. One timer. And Gill able to come over and make the save as he went from his left to his right. Followed the pass perfectly from Huddy to Power. He let the one timer go. But Gill coolly and calmly moves across, follows the puck. Takes it into the chest and holds on, giving up no rebound with 52.5. And then it's Ross. He drops it off for Bertram. He puts it in behind the pace. He tries to fire it up the left side. Comes out to Bertram, and he'll play it down low with four seconds remaining. It goes down into the corner. Bates on it there. He tries to play it up the wall, but the buzzer will go, and that'll end the period.